I'm gonna tell you how YouTube channels make money so you can make money too. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so this is my list. If you are a YouTuber who makes money from your channel, make sure you put your method down in the comments below to help other people that are gonna watch this video. As a heads up, in this video, we are not gonna talk about ads at all. So it doesn't matter if you're monetized or if you're not monetized or whatever. These are all things that you can do to make money from your YouTube channel because with ads, you have to get a ton of views in order to make that anything substantial. Number one is sponsorships. This can be one-off video sponsorships, this can be long-term multiple video sponsorships, or this can also be brand ambassadorships. In a nutshell, sponsorships are where a brand pays you to make a video about their product or service or to mention their product or service or whatever type of deal that you work out, but basically it is a one-time thing or something to where you make those videos over and over and over again over the course of a period of time. It is very important that you do not underestimate the value of sponsorships. Even as a small channel, you can still do very, very well with sponsorships. Number two is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, in a nutshell, is where you recommend a product or service and you put a link to that product or service in your description. And when somebody clicks on that link and they make a purchase, you actually get a commission of the sale. A lot of content creators do this and they do it because it can pay off big. So I recommend that at the very least that you look into affiliate marketing. Number three is services. Services can pay off really, really big if you have a skill set that you can leverage. If you're really good at something and you have a specific skill that you've developed over time, you can let people know about it on your channel. Even if it's not content that you're making your videos about, you can still let people know about it and you'll be surprised at the amount of leads and clients that you can generate from offering services from your channel. Number four is merchandise. Now with merchandise, in most cases, it's not something that you're going to get rich off of unless you develop an actual brand around your merchandise, but I want you to keep something in mind. A lot of content creators think, hey, I'm just gonna put out merch with my logo on it and that's where they stop, which is okay if that's what you wanna do, but if you wanna amplify what's going on with your merch business, then what you can do is you can make designs that are specific to the demographic of people that are watching your videos. As an example, in my case, if I were to make a shirt about vlogging, well, there's a good chance that somebody's gonna pick up a shirt about vlogging because a lot of vloggers watch my YouTube channel. Make sense? Okay, awesome, glad it makes sense. Let's move on. Another really cool thing about merch is on YouTube, depending on your channel size, you can actually have that merch shelf down underneath your videos to where you can offer merch directly on YouTube, which is pretty cool. And if you are a live streamer, you can also set up a merch store through Streamlabs, which is also really easy to do and that's another way that you can make money from your live streams. Next up on the list is crowdfunding. Now, crowdfunding comes in a bunch of different forms. For example, Patreon, I'll put a link to them down in the description below, is one where you can set up additional perks, additional benefits for joining your Patreon, and then people pay you every month in order to have access to those perks or just to support your cause. Some people are making a ton of money on Patreon, so at the very least, it's something that you should consider. In 2019, January to be exact, I'm also going to be boosting up my Patreon as well because I thought of something really clever to offer in there that's gonna be a huge value to everybody. So I'll put a link to mine down in the description below. Some people also just put a PayPal link. If you don't wanna sign up with any of these services and do any of that other stuff, some people will just put up a PayPal link and they'll say, hey, if you enjoy my content, shoot me a few bucks in PayPal. So that is also a form of crowdfunding, as is Super Chats if you're a live streamer. And channel memberships if you have a channel that allows channel memberships. Which, with channel memberships, I've also got some additional perks for you, and there's a link to my channel memberships down in the description below. But the idea of crowdfunding is, at the end of the day, you just wanna offer something in return. You wanna make it an exchange of some kind. So if people are going to give to your cause, you gotta think of what it is that you can offer as an additional thing to those people that are giving to you. This is where making helpful content comes in extremely handy because you're putting out all of that value first so people already know the value that you bring. Next on the list is making your own products. It doesn't matter if it's a digital product or a real life product that you can actually pick up and touch. The idea is to come up with something that would be a perfect fit for the people that are watching your videos. And I know you might be thinking, hey, what type of stuff can I do on my videos? Most types of content have something. For example, if you are showing people how to knit, you could make downloadable patterns just 
just as an example. Same thing goes for costumes. If you're doing any educational stuff, then you could of course offer any additional training that you have for download. As another example, if you're a gamer, because I know a lot of gamers watch this channel, if you are a gamer, you can also make things like quick win guides to where you show people exactly, hey, this is how you get through this, 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 and this the fastest possible way and sell it for a few bucks. Another thing to think about as well is if you are making YouTube videos for a specific demographic of people, you can use your YouTube channel to springboard a new company for yourself. You know, if you're an entrepreneurial type person where you would see the advantage in doing something like that. Next on the list is sending viewers to your own blog or website. Here's where this one gets cool. Let's say that you have a small channel and currently because of the watch time requirements and the subscriber requirements, you're not monetized on YouTube. That does not prevent you from having your own blog that you run ads on. But look, you can make a blog or a website that is about the same type of stuff that you're making your YouTube videos about, and you can build that asset next to your YouTube channel, and you can use that to funnel traffic to your YouTube channel, you can use your YouTube channel to funnel traffic to your blog, and you can get as creative as you want to with selling ad spots or running ads or whatever it is that you wanna do on your own website. If you wanna learn even more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.